So to set up one of the uh, Lawmic cameras, the first thing you need to do is download in and install a PV Cam Viewer app. So on the Play Store, on, on an Android phone, or on an iPhone, it's the uh, App Store, you need to download PV Cam Viewer. And select that install in the background. Now on the device itself, I've got here one of the speakers, uh, but the other devices are fairly similar. Um, with the speaker, you need to make sure that the button at the bottom is turned to the the V. And then I'd also advise turning the lights on as well. So underneath the, um, the charging port, you've got this button here. You can turn the lights on the top or not. Now this is just for setting up so you can tell the status of the device. So let me just focus for you. So the blue lights, you will get the same lights on um, other devices such as the clock. Uh, the lights mean the same. The blue light means you've got power to the camera. Uh, red flashing light means there's no SD card. Um, a red solid light means it's recording to the SD card. And the orange lights or the amber light means that it's uh, in Wi-Fi mode, uh, ready to be connected to with a camera, uh, which or with the phone. <laughs> On the opposite side, you will have a green light when it's connected to a, a, a Wi-Fi router. Um, so I'll go through that process now. So on each camera, there will be a code on the bottom. So this is how you set up the, you see the uh, code for the camera and the passcode. Now this code here is the one that you're looking for in your Wi-Fi list on your phone. So if we do that now, go back to the home screen and find your Wi-Fi settings. So for me, it's at the top here. And you see I'm connected to the uh, SUK router, which is the office router. And I'm looking for that same code that's on the camera, which is that PO37423. So click on that. And the password is always the same to start with. It's just the, the number eight, eight times. connect that's just for me to connect my phone to the camera so you see it's connecting now but it's telling me that there's no internet available because I'm connecting my phone directly to the camera but the camera is not connected to the internet if you get a notification like this tell it you do want to carry on using this network so obviously we need to do that to set up the camera once you've connected you can then open up the PV cam viewer app so I'm just going to search through my phone there it is just allow anything that it asks. Just wait for it to fire up. Okay, once it's open, that bottom right hand corner which says device management, I click on this. And then at the top right hand corner it says add. Just click on that. And then you can either scan or manually enter the ID. So we might as well scan it as we've got the QR code there. You see the camera's been added straight away. And then if I just turn it the right way around and click on to the camera, because if you've got more than one, it needs to know which one you're selecting. So you always have to select the camera and then go to recorder settings on the top right there. And you see now we're getting a live view from the camera, you can turn it to the side. It'll be sideways for you, but uh, you see you've got a full screen there. We can also turn the volume on and off. Um, there's no point when you're sitting right next to it, though. You'll just get feedback. From here, you can also choose whether you want to record in motion mode or normal mode. You can start and stop recordings, or if you press the cap button, that just takes a picture. Um, of what it's looking at but it saves it to the SD card and there's no card installed at the moment so it won't it won't do that okay so the next thing then is to set up to um, a router so if we go set up I'm oh, sorry no, wrong place go back back again and go to device management again this time you want to click on the cog on the right hand side there and go to internet Wi-Fi settings and then when it says SSID, if you click on the little blue eye there in the corner, it will generate a list of all the nearby uh, routers. 
So we need to connect our camera. I'm going to connect it to the SUK guest one. Yeah. Just click on that, you'll see it puts out the SSID now. We just put the password in, which is a spy guest. And then press save. Now it always says operation succeeded, but it doesn't necessarily mean you've got it right. So if I'd put the wrong password in for my router, it will still say operation succeeded, but when the device resets and starts again, it won't connect. Now if you look at the device, you'll see that all the, all the lights have gone off apart from the blue one. It's actually starting back up again. Uh, now we need to wait until the, uh, the green light is on, showing it's connected to the router and then we'll be able to watch it live. So we've got the red light flashing because there's no SD card and we're just waiting for the green light to come on. Now at this point in time, you'll see that it no longer gives out a Wi-Fi signal in the list. So that PO number will no longer show up here. Um, and until it comes back online again, It won't be shown in the app either. Now, if you've got the if you've got the um, password wrong, like I say, you'll be locked out at this point because it won't connect to the router and it won't show up in the list, and so you would need to reset the device again, which I'll show you how to do in another video. But at the moment, the camera is now so I've got a green light, so it should now be connected. If it doesn't show up. Then the best thing to do at this point is actually properly close the app down. So swipe it up, swipe it away, and reopen it. Sometimes apps don't like it when you change from one network to another, and they don't always take notice of the change. As, as you can see, we're back online again now. We're actually watching it live. So the difference here is, when we first logged in, it was because I was connected directly to the uh, to the camera, uh, whereas now it's actually going through the the Wi-Fi itself. So as you can see, we've got a little bit slow there, but we've got we have got a live image coming through. Um, and so what that means is now instead of having to connect directly to the camera, it does mean that whenever we're out, uh, whether we whether we're next to the camera or like other side of the world, as long as we've both got internet connection, so long as the um, speaker is connected to my router and long as my phone's got an internet connection it means that you can you can just log in anytime and watch the uh, the live footage from the camera